Hello and a very warm welcome to Megan and Harry News YouTube channel. I'm Alex, it's a beautiful day here today and I hope it's great where you are. Well, look who has put on their grumpy trousers again. It seems that Prince William is furious and angry, or so says the Times, and guess who he is furious with? Yes, you guessed it, it's Harry and Meghan. Is he furious with Prince Andrew for bringing shame and scandal onto the royal family? and accusations of gross illegal activity. No, he is absolutely fine with that. No, that's okay. That's all tickety-boo. But Harry and Meghan, he is still raging over that Oprah Winfrey interview. He is stomping his feet up and down on the plush Buckingham Palace carpets, and his face has turned scarlet red with jets of hot air ejecting out of his flaring nostrils. I think, William, it's time to move on. Let it go. For goodness sake, you're going to give yourself a heart attack. So, it says here in the Times, Prince William furious about Harry and Meghan interview. Brother angered by comments in Oprah Winfrey's broadcast claim rights. Prince William was furious about Prince Harry and Meghan after their interview with Oprah Winfrey, a previously unseen epilogue to a biography has claimed as details emerged concerning Harry being denied permission to lay a wreath last Remembrance Sunday. The new chapter to Finding Freedom, an unauthorised biography, widely regarded as sympathetic to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and hostile to Buckingham Palace, contains revelations about the tensions which have plagued the monarchy. Days after the interview was aired, William was asked if the royal family was a racist family during an engagement at an East London school. He replied, we're very much not a racist family. Now, in the updated version of the couple's unauthorised biography, Finding Freedom, it is claimed that William was not happy about the interview. The Independent reports the authors of the book write that according to their sources, William was understood to be furious that private family matters were being discussed in the public domain. It also says he will most likely not comment on the claims made in the Oprah interview again. Finding Freedom originally published last year and written by Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand chronicles Harry and Meghan's romance and brief period as members of the monarchy before they broke away to forge a new life for themselves and son Archie in the US. It is being re-released next week in paperback version and will include a new epilogue. Meanwhile, in other news, Meghan and Harry are not getting furious or stomping their feet. They are getting on with their life and helping people. See here, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle partner with aid organisations in Afghanistan and Haiti. Their Archwell Foundation is supporting multiple organisations aid efforts amid the current turmoil in Afghanistan and Haiti. It reads here, Meghan and Harry have partnered with several humanitarian organisations through their Archwell Foundation to provide aid relief to people in Afghanistan and Haiti. This week, the organisations Women for Afghan Women and World Central Kitchen announced that the Archwell Foundation publicly announced the partnerships and thanked Archwell for the support. The Archwell Foundation has partnered with Women for Afghan Women, the largest women's organisation in Afghanistan, to help its efforts to evacuate women and children during the current Taliban takeover. WAW posted a tweet thanking the Duke and Duchess of Sussex Foundation, which included a resource guide on how to help Afghans seeking refuge. We are immensely grateful for the generosity of the Archwell Foundation in support of our efforts to evacuate, relocate thousands of Afghan women, children, families, including our staff, the tweet reads. World Central Kitchen, a global organisation that provides meals to countries recovering from natural disasters, also took to Twitter to announce their partnership with Archwell. Founded by Chef Jose Andres in 2010, the organisation is currently providing meals to residents of Haiti following the 7.2 magnitude earthquake last week. 
With support from around the world and our partners, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Archwell Foundation joining the relief effort, WCK is now delivering thousands of hot, nutritious meals daily to hospitals and shelters, caring for Haitians impacted by the earthquake. Thank you, the tweet read. The two partnerships come after Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan spoke out in support of aid efforts in Afghanistan and Haiti earlier this week. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex shared the heartfelt message on the Archwell website, which offered condolences to everyone affected by current world events. When any person or community suffers, a piece of each of us does so with them, whether we realise it or not. And though we are not meant to live in a state of suffering, we as a people are being conditioned to accept it. It's easy to find ourselves feeling powerless, but we can put our values into action together, the statement read. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also shared a number of organisations to support at this time, including World Central Kitchen and Women for Afghan Women, as well as mental health resources for anyone who may be struggling with the surplus of negative world news. The list of resources included a note from the Archwell team that read, We recognise that many of you may feel helpless right now as you watch the state of the world spin rapidly. It can feel disorientating and defeating, but we have faith in the power of shared purpose, action and commitment to our collective well-being. So that is all for today. Thank you for listening and let me know what you think in the comments as always.